Right, we are live listening to Representative Castro speaking in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The speech is ongoing. I'm going to walk in there and listen to more. And just like in 2012, you remember that Carl Rose had all of his numbers out and his analysis and he had a little bit of a meltdown? Well, Brett Barrett will say to Carl at about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, Carl, I'm sorry to do this to you, but Democrats have made history again, electing for the first time a female president of the United States. We can make it happen. All right, if I can put this here. I am supposed to be very brief, and I will try to do that, although it's hard for me. Uh, I want all of our staff to be recognized. That includes our newest member, Angela, Aisha, uh, Andrew. Uh, Announce yourself. I'm sorry. My name is Mark Hannes. I'm chairman of the State Democratic Party. Our staff has worked hard to bring this event to you. Michael Whalen worked hard to bring this event to you. They deserve a round of applause. We have state party officers here. Uh, Joe Bradley, Steve Calhoun, Donna Russell, Betty McElderry is here, uh, Vic Boren. Did I forget somebody? I hope not. I make calls. Uh, I'm supposed to give you a call to arms. <laughs> so let me tell you this briefly. There's a reason why I'm doing this. And the reason is that I grew up in Oklahoma and I love. Oklahoma. I love Oklahoma. So I'm devoting my time to this office. But you know what? There are candidates here who love Oklahoma. That's right. They're doing this for the same reason I am, because this is my home, because my children live here, because I want Oklahoma to be a great state. Everyone who is a candidate or elected official Please raise your hand. Make sure that people here know you. Look at all the folks. Look at all the folks who have stepped up. Now, what these people are doing is knocking on doors. They're going out when it's 105 degrees. They're going out when it's raining. They are fighting barking dogs and barking Republicans. It's hard to tell the difference between the two sometimes. But they don't do that for the money. They do that because this is their home, because they love Oklahoma, because they care about Oklahoma. Now, does anybody else here love Oklahoma? Let me hear you if you do. You cannot, you cannot love this state if you do not love and honor these candidates. You cannot care about Oklahoma if you're not willing to invest part of your time, part of your money, part of your personality to convince people that we have to make a change in this great state if it's going to be a great state. Unlike Donald Trump, I think Oklahoma, I think America is great, but Oklahoma is not as great as it used to be because we don't honor our teachers. We don't honor our schools. We don't offer, honor the opportunities that our citizens need and their chance to go forward. And if that's gonna change, it doesn't just start with the candidates. It starts with you. We need you to go out. We need you to be committed. That means- We need precinct chairs. We need your energy, your time, do. your involvement. That means we need your financial Most help. People that listen. means they need your financial help. It may be a sacrifice, but are your kids worth that sacrifice? Is your family worth that sacrifice? If they are worth that sacrifice, then make that sacrifice and start today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Hammonds.
you need to make an announcement? I think we're adjourned, but please. If you need to make an announcement, step up. Very gracious. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. All right. Um, I know I have a podcast going, but let's see here. Okay, we're still on the air. I got to take some pictures for some people. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this without dropping my camera. All right. Here, let me take pictures and I'll put it on the, the Facebook page. Done. Merchandise. There's a table towards the front door, kind of off to the side. Tulsa County okay, one more. Party has signs available and, and the button. Great, done. It'll be on the Facebook page. Keep your name tag on so I can tag you. If you want your picture taken, if he has time, I'll put it on the Facebook page. Oh. Oh, I can't. Oh, he's in. Darn it. Now over here. You're the official, right? I'm doing this for the Tulsa, yeah. That is great. Thank you ever so much. Mark, can I get a picture of you and the congressman for the Facebook page? Hold on, it's not clear. That one's better. Thank you, sir. I didn't mean to get in your way, Lori. Oh, you're his wife. It's so good to meet you. My lips are so dry. I'm just taking pictures for the Facebook page or I'm getting better at it. See, that one's a good one. That one was a fairly good one. Hi, John. Can I take a picture, sir? Excuse me, I'm going to scoot back. Okay. I'm going to put our pictures on the Facebook page. Get a picture of autograph of my Constitution. Okay. Okay, that sounds good, Stan. How long do we have him? How much longer do we have him for tonight? Do you know? What time is it now? Anybody know what time it is? Seven what? Seven twenty. Okay. I'm just gonna follow him around. If you want to get close, I'll try to get you in the pictures. If you could just. Sally and I were going to try to jump in. Huh? Sally and I were going to try to jump in. Okay. Let me see if I can make that happen better for you. If we can get you where the light is behind you, it will make a much better picture. It's 
excuse me. I'm going to go from behind. There, those will be better pictures. With the sun in the back. See, look at that. See, doesn't that look good? Oh, yeah, it looks good. I wish I had a thing where I could just click it. After I get a picture of you and him, can you go around to other candidates and try to get them to come up here? Maybe I can get Joe to do that. side of them and I'll take a picture? I'm sorry. Yeah, that looks really good. Look at the light. Look how good that looks. It'll be on the Tulsa Facebook page, the Tulsa County Democrat. and talk. I'm going to keep taking pictures. Go ahead. Two great pictures. Go ahead, Melanie. You want to get a picture with him if you can? Mm. I wish I brought my son because I couldn't pay $100 for him. then that way I can get the sun behind you guys and it looks better. get over here. It'd be easier to take a picture for me. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, let's see if I can get... I've already taken lots of pictures of them. Joe, if you want to... Remember, put your hand on your hip. Okay, excuse me. Sorry. Okay, look my way, Joe. Hold on. Great picture. I'm getting some good pictures. Look at that, the light on your face. That's what I'm trying to capture. Try to send the candidates, Joe. If you see more candidates, try to get them up here, and I'll try to take more pictures. If you can. Okay. Oh, did I bump you? I didn't mean to. I'm doing a podcast while I'm talking. I'm probably going to have to junk it. Joe Glenn would be the one to ask. The pictures that I'm taking, I'm putting on the Facebook page. Oh, 